I don't know if I'm the only one who does this, but I go on Steam all the time to find obscure racing games to play. And I came across this one. This is Off-Road Mechanic Simulator. It's actually made by the same people who make Car Mechanic Simulator. There's like proper off-roady physics. You can lift your vehicle on like upgraded shocks and stuff. You've got tools. You can make your car all dirty. And right now, there is a demo. Welcome to Off-Road Mechanic Simulator. This Jeep has no wheels. It doesn't even have suspension. We're missing like some shock absorbers there by the looks of it. We'll come back to that, I guess. Let's explore this garage. Look at this. Oh, is this where I can watch my YouTube videos? How do I subscribe? Where's that button on here? This is where I keep all of the things that I said I would use, but I never ended up using. Welcome to the Off-Road Mechanic Simulator demo. You will find two damaged vehicles in your garage for the possibilities of the garage and try to fix them. When you succeed, you'll be able to move on to the next stage off-road driving. This is to unmount parts. I need to mount parts. Yes! There are the springs that I was saying we were missing. I have three different types of springs. They are all the same amount of money. Chrome spring, coated spring, and a steel spring. Okay. I see a lot of people in Twitch chat asking for the steel springs, so I guess we'll go for those. We've got to get four of them. We've got all of our steel springs, which I apparently bought twice accidentally. I need two front dampeners, and I need two rear dampeners, and I also need, I guess, some brake calipers. Okay. These are actually corner dependent. Look at these. So this is front left, front right, rear left, rear right. I guess I need all of these. Then I also need some brake calipers. Thank you. Screw in my brake calipers. Beautiful. How can I get this dampening in? I guess I... No, okay. I don't need to raise the truck up anymore. Beautiful. Screw the... Screw the top in. This is actually way, way, way more in depth than car mechanic sim. Okay, our next step is gonna be wheels and tires. So we'll see how all of that works. All of the rims are exactly the same size. They are 19 by 13.5, okay? So I guess it all depends on what style you want the most. I really like these. I think these look really, really good. Let's go for four of them. So this is perk friction plus four, friction plus two interesting. So these two tires down here have way, way more grip. That's probably why they're more expensive than those other ones. These ones. Sure. Four of them, please. Look at this thing. This thing's sick. All right. Combine the tire and the rim. Thank you. Bro, that looks cool. All right, this is actually way, 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 way more in-depth than Car Mechanic Simulator. I don't know what you guys think, but based off first impressions, I really like this already. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I need five tires because I'm gonna need a tire for back here. I do. I need a fifth tire. My bad, my bad. Clearly, I do not live that Jeep life enough. Also, not gonna lie, I wish the sounds were a little bit better when you're using tools. See what I mean? The sound is just kind of... I need some ugga duggas. Give me some ugga duggas if you want to make this legit. Just saying. The game says I'm done with the Jeep. Now we can go work on this thing. What are they called? It's a Nissan. We don't have them here in Canada. Patrol? Is it a Nissan Patrol? If it is a Nissan Patrol, that's probably why it's called the Nissan Watcher. <laughs> <laughs> Time to work on this thing. What does it need? Oh, the rear like diff is all broke. All of the rear suspension looks broken. Okay. Rear brake rotors are broken. Rear diff is broken. And all of my control arms. Jeez. Okay. So I guess I'm going to need to unmount those. Okay. I don't think I needed the fancy inspection tool. I could have just looked in there. That is uh not good. We can keep removing stuff. This is just weight reduction. They've also got way more parts than they used to in car mechanics sim, which is really nice. Look at this little detail that I love. You've got to undo the screw and the bolt on the back or like the nut on the back. Now I just remove the differential instead, instead of the drive shaft. Oh, look at that too. That's so cool. All right, then I need to repair two brake rotors and four control arms and the diff. So I need to come over to my workbench. Oh, that's so cool. You literally aim for the little bits. You clean up the part and it's literally brand new. That's so sick. Oh, wait.
This is how I would fix something. Yo, this is so cool. Bro, this is so cool. I love this. I love this. I want to hit everything with a hammer. I am so happy I accidentally came across this game. <laughs> See, if there was a part of car fixing that I would be good at, it would be the hitting it with a hammer part. Oh, I need to drain the oil of the diff. Uh, that's not a big enough bucket, but okay. Then unbolt the entire thing. Are, are we going to see like the entire diff? Clearly that's seen better days. Spray whatever this is on it. It still doesn't look very good. Okay, then I wipe it down and then it's brand new again and then it goes back in. Oh, that's so sick. I don't even know if this is something you can do in real life. I would certainly not attempt this. So I guess I've got to put these back in the car. All I think this game needs is a better sound and it'll make this game feel more satisfying and it'll make this game a thousand times better. I don't actually know when this game comes out. I think it comes out next year. I was actually playing Car Mechanic Simulator in real life yesterday. I was doing an oil change on my Subaru. I will have a video about that soon. Be on the lookout. I might have slightly crashed the Subaru into a snowbank and broken it. So I had to fix that as well. I think honestly, what I'm most excited to see for this game is how is the actual driving that is going to make or break this game. You got mail. It's like living in 2003 all over again. The cars are functional now, but off-road driving is demanding you'll need to prepare for it properly, buy a set of additional parts for each car, and a few tree straps. I have no idea what this is, but I guess I'll take it. It's nearly three grand. Then I need the same thing for the watcher. More than three grand. These are, these are, uh, it's a jack. It's a jack. All right, I'm gonna buy two of them. I don't know if I need two, but I'm gonna buy two of those and four of those. Also, I've just realized doing this on stream is probably not a good idea. This is where I can put my roof rack. That's so cool. And then I guess in the future, I'll be able to put like, yeah, LED lights, snorkel, hood lamp. To open the car inventory, point the cursor at the car trunk and press E. Aha, two tree straps in there and a jack. Beautiful. Okay, then I need to select a vehicle and drive out of the garage. I gotta drive the Jeep. The Jeep looks awesome. Awesome. Get my winch. I don't know if I'm going to need that, but I'm probably going to want it. So yeah. All right, let's go. Yeep Rancher. That's really cool. So I press B. I turn the engine on. Very cool. And use throttle limiter. Press one or two to change drive modes. I'm going to try this in rear wheel drive to start. You can limit your throttle so you don't go flying straight through the environment. Follow a marker on compass to reach quest point. Okay. So I've got to go that away. Give me a little bit more throttle, please. Uh, look how dirty this thing is. Oh my God. You can definitely tell that it's not like snow runner, but it's still pretty cool. So now I've got two possible ways I can go. I could either go the easy way or make my life difficult. Um, you saw nothing. Maybe we'll go to the left instead. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably a better idea of dealing with a log that size. I guess it's going to be a fairly similar concept to SnowRunner where you get like this large open world and you kind of need to figure out your path from point A to point B. Very cool. I wonder if I'm going to need to whip out that wind. Probably through this. Go slow. Go slow. I guess I'm going to need to go through this water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Go through. That's a bit deep. You bitch! What happened? Fix engine for 2k or buy a new... Fix it. Wait, so I don't actually need to like... I could have V8 swapped this? Much better. I think that was actually a happy accident. Oh, you want me to buy a snorkel? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. That's actually so cool. Now go back to the forest, but it looks like it's starting to get dark. Prepare to drive by installing an additional light on the car. Okay. All right, so let's swap this front bumper out for our new one. Yo, that's so cool. I should be able to get my light, yes, onto my front bumper. All right, there we go. Now my big lights are on. Beautiful. So now, hopefully we don't flood our engine. It is extremely dark out here. I can't see. Here we go. There's the water. Come on down. Come on down. No flooding the engine this time. Beautiful. 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 We made it unscathed. All right, here we go. I think this is where I needed to be. Yes. Route finished. So wait, how can I actually use like some of the stuff? There we go. There we go. Wait. No way. No way. You can get out of the car and walk around. So if I take the hook of the winch... And I set it to... I'm gonna need a pretty big tree. And then winch him to the tree. 
Yes! Yo, that's so cool. I love how you can actually see, like, the line. Oh, that's so cool! I absolutely love it. What's normal oil temp? Does anybody know? Apparently, 130 Celsius is more than normal. So this one looks like somebody pooed on it, and this one has a blown-up engine. That's all we wanted to show you in the off-road mechanic simulator demo. In the full version, you'll be able to experience even more polished activities and many new ones we're currently working on. I think the feedback I'll give is, one, I need more Ugga Duggas. 